over at Scott's, Stacy made a comment, wanted to know how Scott still likes his Lance after a year and a half. So take it away, Scott. How, do, how are you liking it? I love it. And so we bought this about a year and a half, like Dad said. Um, my wife and I and two dogs, we have no children. So obviously if we had kids, I think I'd go a little larger. But for the two of us, I think it's absolutely perfect. Um, it's been a great unit. Um, really haven't had any problems with it, uh, luckily. Just minor little cosmetic stuff, you know, I could glue back on or screw back down. But, uh, yeah, I can walk you through some yeah, of the mods it, I made. Yeah, and it's the 1475. That's yep. your model, right? Right. It's, and it, and it has, has the one slide on it. Yep, the slide's out right now. And then we can take a look when we go inside on that. And we just got back from Florida and slaughtered a million bugs on the highway. Yeah, so we did yeah not I know. Yeah. He's, he, he said, do you want me to wash it before we do the video? I said, no, no, it's fine. But, yeah, but... uh yeah, we love it. For a two-person camper, I mean, for us, it's perfect. You can get into all the older campgrounds with the smaller lots. Um, there's there's not a spot we can't get with this camper. That's perfect. And, of course, you know, you got the other video where we did the full walkthrough. I'll just show you the mods and stuff you asked for. Okay. But uh, the thing that we did to make it our own was before the, the it had the lead-acid battery up front, and then... Um, I removed that and I bought a 100 amp hour lithium battery and then I think those are uh, temperamental to the cold and we do we do camp out there and we're all season campers so um, you do not want to charge those in the cold weather so we moved it to the inside storage right here in the center and so rather than the positive and negative going through there we wrapped it and uh, fed it back through into the storage unit and put a hard case around it. And then the propane, um, because we do camp a lot in the winter, ran out, ran out of propane one night, heat cut off, and then I had to go change tanks, and so I had to put a stop to that immediately. And so we did the two tanks after getting rid of the battery and bought the automatic transfer uh, regulator here. Um, and so now we got two tanks, and of course with this, it'll, when it empty, to go it'll to switch over. Yeah. And so this, you use the same cover? Still using the same cover? Yep, yep same cover. And then someone on the last page actually came up with this on the Facebook group, uh, that these little switches, because they've these covers have been known to come off during the highway, so I kind of copied that to tie it and secure it down. Um, this is on the, the propane manifold underneath the camper. I tied in um, a, a T to it, and this is my primer for my quick connect for my generator. So I got the Honda 2000, uh, 2200 watt inverter generator and I put the propane conversion kit on it. And so all I gotta do is quick connect hose here, quick connect to the generator, prime it, and my if when I go to harvest hose or if I'm boondocking and I need power or charge batteries or whatever, I can quickly just pull it out of the storage unit, hook it up and I have I can feed it with the two tanks. And you just use your cord to plug into the generator? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, bring that over. Good idea. Uh, I see you put some kind of mammoth lock on it too. Yeah, I kind of custom built that. That's just a slide lock um, with a puck lock in it. That's just a custom build to kind of keep it secure and the chain's all locked up. Just want to make sure no one comes in here and drives. <laughs> after, after all your modifications. I don't know. We just got back from the trip, so we're kind of fully loaded. I don't know if you can see the battery there. Yeah, there's the battery. That's pretty. I don't know if it'll be too dark or not. And then there's a the shunt there for the... Uh, so you just have the one lithium. One 100 amp hour lithium. And it does everything you need it. For us, yeah, plenty. And of course, then you could always hide the generator and yeah, the charger. I don't, yeah, I don't have an inverter or anything. And yeah, normally if we really need to run some coffee and we're boondocking or something, I'll uh, I'll just hook up the Honda real quick and do the microwave and coffee maker is really the only two things that we'd have to pull the generator out for. Yeah, so you're going to show us what you did with your oven. So, the, so after about... Of course, a year and a half but camping in it. The last, about two trips ago, we just did a week in Florida. The trip before that, um, we kept looking at this oven and the stove and, uh, and the burners, and we've never once used them the entire time we were here. We primarily just cook out on the Blackstone. 
Um, I did, so we got to the point where storage and the trash can and stuff was down here. And so I just brainstormed with Elaine and my wife and said, hey, what do you think if we just ripped this thing out? And she said, what are we gonna do with the space? And I said, well, I'll see what I can do with it when we pull it out and see what, can, what it is. And basically, uh, we just needed the extra storage. We never used it. And so uh, the only time we might use like the burner to heat water, which I did solve that solution, um, but I'll show you. So we ended up taking the stove out. The trim wasn't finished here. So I was able to find the same, um, the same rubber trim piece that Lance used on Amazon. And so I just trimmed this piece out myself and found these same caps. But other than that, this is what you see finished when you take your stove out. Um, and th that was good enough for us for the storage. I took, when I took the burners and stuff out, this black frame is part of the actual stove it was existing. Um, I left it in there because it had some cutout marks on the countertop and to match it, it would be hard. And so what we went and did was bought a butcher block and I kind of stained it the best I could gray to match the, you know, somewhat. And then uh, we just installed that. So I could, if I ever decided to sell this unit, go ahead and put everything right back. On so, it. yeah, okay, good. So you just extended the counter and you said, is it? Block. And then down here, we moved the fire extinguisher, which actually used to be in this entryway right here. That you kick all the time. Yeah, we, and then we added these nets and I put a, one, another net right here. And then, which I still haven't done, but I, where the, the propane that fed the stove and the oven, I added this quick connect and valve, and I'm gonna put a bracket and mount it right here. And so if we're ever in a situation where we do need a burner, we still have the hood and inside the garage, I have a low pressure gas burner with the hose that I could put up here and actually plug in and heat up coffee on a percolator or something. And we still have the hood, so we technically do still kind of have a oh. stove top right here. And I'm still working on getting that. This is kind of a work in progress, but I will get that mounted in there. And we have our gas there. And you and you have the 2,000 watt Honda generator, 2200, 2200. Yeah. and to operate your air conditioning. Yep. What is? Well, I think this this unit here we bought. Um, someone had pre-ordered and backed out and so but they did have the upgraded uh, Dometic uh, I think it's a 9,000 BTU unit and so it was able to run with the the Honda generator but I could never get um, but it had to be in full throttle you couldn't go into the eco mode and so we did put the soft start on it and now that allows us to run it in eco mode and uh, doesn't seem to burn as much fuel, but the jur jury's still out on that, whether or not, you know, it saves fuel. I've got to look at that for, for yeah. my trailer. Right. Yeah. So now I can just, uh, and you saw it when I, we went to. Yeah, I ran it off a 120. Yeah, and just stuck it in, st stick the, uh, I can plug into a 120, 20 amp household plug, run my generator, no problem, which I think you could have probably still done before. Air conditioner, yeah. Air, air conditioner. But, you know, you're limited on how much stuff you can run in your camper without right. tripping someone's breaker and going down that road. Perfect. Uh, so the, the Victron Energy, I put the, the shunt is installed over there on the battery. And that's my battery monitor. I can monitor my amps, um, amp come, you know, my charging amps, my discharge amps, um, shows the status of my battery. Oh. And a lot of other fancier things I haven't quite figured yeah. out, but... Uh, added the uh, square D let me see if I can shine a light on that that's a square D surge protector you know everybody buys those three hundred dollar four hundred dollars right surge that you plug into the, you plug the pedestals in. yeah that's no different than your residential surge protector that you can install on your household panel so I just you know I just bought one um, for for this panel, I plugged it right into the panel and it does the exact same thing. And it's by Square D. I think I paid a little over $100 for it and just wired it into the lugs in the panel. And you're, uh, Perfect. It's, it's got a status so you, light right there. If you do get a surge, something on that will pop and you oh, just sure. reset it. Yeah, the system is still protected and you don't have to worry about, you know, those things are so expensive. I've actually seen people at the RV parks uh, hook cables to them and lock them up because theft. People are still. Yeah, they're it's crazy. <laughs> But, but basically all that is, is, is you know, the same thing, a surge protector, but it's hardwired in. So 
Um, what about the brown? And the other concern is the brown out. If you're not getting enough, it protects the ones that you plug in the pedestal. Don't they protect your features? Maybe I don't. I don't yeah, know. but anyway, you're protected against a surge. But yep. Uh, well, you can take your voltmeter too with you and just check if you're yeah, worried about yeah, it. I guess, just yeah. check your. I mean, I, I, it might fluctuate, but I don't know. I've never really had an issue. And um, maybe someone in the comments will tell us why. Right. I'm that. <laughs> but the uh, this is where they had the wardrobe with the, the 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 hanger across the top to you know hang your clothes, but right. that didn't really work for us. So I just got some aluminum plate and built shelves. And we just got these baskets that we can stick too deep, and we just fold our clothes and put them. In put there. them in there. Okay, perfect. When we're going on vacation. We're not really trying to be fancy or have super nice iron clothes. We do have hey, a hang bag. You're not going out to formal dinner. Right. So. We have a hang bag. We leave in the truck that we put a few nice shirts or something in. But for the most part, this is all our. The two bottom ones are my wife's, and the of course top one's mine. <laughs> but she um, gave you one. She gave me one. Uh Oh, another uh, another thing too. We added. So I, I usually sit here. My wife sits in the in the bed, and then I'm six foot three, and so this uh, this was not working for me. And so what we did, the recliner. So I just used a little pillow pad, and I bought this ottoman for, with a, which is also a storage, storage. piece. And uh, that was a lot more comfortable for me. Uh, the thing Lance doesn't do is if you're sitting over here and I need to charge my laptop or my phone or anything like that There's no power on this side of the camper. Everything was uh, The p one power outlet we have here and then we have the other one there um, They're just what you do is you find electronics just cluttering up everything. So I installed this plug here 120 volt and I piggybacked off of the slide I think it was it in the yeah it was in the slide right underneath the slide right here you can get up underneath the sofa and there's the plug for the TV on the back side I was able to piggyback off oh, of it gotcha. run my electrical right down um, you can actually see it right here I use the same plastic um, okay the plastic oh, yeah. shroud that they'd ran the wi uh, previous wires through you have all your controls and your right. plugs and... and then I just did a little caddy bedside caddy thing. Have you ever used the TV outside? Yeah, all the time. Do you yeah. really? Yeah, yeah. We Sit watch out? football games and stuff out there. And, Perfect. Yeah. Okay. And then actually, the we did the beach trip. We just got back from Grayton Beach, and we always camp with friends. You know, Jason and Kim. You know. All right. And uh, so what Kim reminded me, she's like, I, we were joking. Man, it'd be nice to have a fire, but it's like 90 degrees. She goes, why don't you put one on the TV? So we go on YouTube now, and we we just Google those backdrops. <laughs> And so it's funny, everybody's like laughing at us because we got like a fake fire on the side of the camper. But then we watch football games and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. 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 But yeah, there is a little a clip on the outside that you can, you know, hang your stuff on. Um, but other than that, I think. Okay. It's, I don't well, that's think, enough. You're a year and a half and you've made those changes already. Right. Yeah, I think. And I mean, it's pretty much right where we want it. You know, this is doing it for us. Oh, and then the air conditioner, too. I did take this shroud down. I was I, the, my air conditioner is making horrible noises, and uh, the actual motor, the, the bolts had come loose. I don't think it was Dometic's problem. I think, or I'm sorry, Lance's problem was more Dometic's. But there, the the I don't know if it was necessarily out of balance the the fan, but the motor started to shake so much that the bolts um, the bolts had come loose. So I put some blue Loctite, tightened that up, balanced it a little bit better. And, uh, and the, the, what was happening was the fan was hitting the plastic shroud and it was just making all kinds of noise. So I was able to get the, the fan off the shroud, tighten down the motor, got everything to where it wasn't hitting anything. And then there's a flexible duct. Now I would say Lance did do this, but there's a flexible duct. When you take the lower piece and the upper part of the air conditioner, they're, con they're con supposed to be connected by a piece of a uh, flex. And it wasn't even cut to size. It's long because they don't know the thickness of the various RVs that these things are going to be installed on. So the the one that was there was long, and they just kind of smushed it all together. Instead of cutting right, it and doing it correctly. It. And uh, I did take that out, and then I just cut some metal and took some duck foil tape, like the metal foil tape, and hard ducted it. So you don't hear the, the air just oh, run, okay. running over all that plastic. And uh, I did get my unit just taping things up, getting cords out of the way because the air was passing through a lot of stuff. 
Um, the rubber on the roof would hang over and you could, the air was passing by that. So I just taped everything off really good with metal foil tape in there and it quieted down quite a bit and it made it a little bit more pleasant, you know, cause these things are very noisy. Well, and you're headed out this weekend. Where are you, where are you going? We're this weekend. We're going to some friends up on the mountain. Oh, yeah. okay. Stay in their backyard and be pests. Well, okay. Well, there you have it, Stacy. Uh, thank you. Thank uh, you. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, you want star billing above the retired and roaming now, or is it? What's that? You want star billing above retired? Sure, sure, okay. Heck okay. Yeah. Uh, heck, Scott. I think you just just camp here in your driveway. What a what a view. I need to put it on harvest host. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, ran out your sights. Yep.